still love this red I'm so glad I chose it such a gorgeous color here we go so Janet's just gone in the boat for the first time and what do you think of it Janet stunning very nice I'm out on my uh, on my own for the first time on uh, Gladys so it's a lovely fine morning here at Aqueduct Marina at Church Minchel in Cheshire there are the offices and the cafe it's quite a large marina as you can see the water is really nice and calm the canal is just down there that's the entrance to the canal where that swan is conveniently passing I asked him to do that and I believe that Gladys's allocated place is right by there on the end which should be really nice lots and lots of other boats here all shapes and sizes Entry Boats has told me they expect Gladys should arrive around about 1.30 so uh, we've got a little while yet can have a little look around familiarize ourselves with all the facilities here there's a chandlery, there's a cafe lots of other things yeah it's pretty exciting stuff so just having a little wait now until Gladys arrives and then all the action starts when the lorry arrives it'll arrive in this area and then this gigantic beast will uh, be brought to life and it'll move forward and then they'll lift the boat off the back of the trailer of the lorry and then it'll be lowered onto another trailer which I think that tractor will be towing that tractor up there and then the lorry will pull away out of the way and then the tractor with the boat on the trailer will reverse the boat down the slipway and into the water I think that's what's supposed to happen but um, well we'll see very soon I think we've got about another hour yet till she's due so it's all getting a bit exciting to say the least and also pretty scary this is the slipway here at Aqueduct Aqueduct Marina and this is where the trailer will lower Gladys down into the water and then what should happen is she should float free of the trailer and then the trailer will be removed and then they'll take Gladys and start the engine and take Gladys over to her mooring point which isn't very far uh, it's a bit difficult to see from this point so the slipway is over there that's where the boat will be taken into the water and then she'll float free and start the engine and reverse her back and then drive her along past the swan all the way along here and then we've been allocated uh, I think it's one of those jetties in that gap there which you can see and um, people from the marina will drive the boat to do that not me I'm very pleased to say I think I'd be very nervous doing that in front of everyone so just hoping everything goes to plan and then once it's tied up uh, I think it's Dave is coming from Aintree Boats he'll be checking her over making sure everything seems to be watertight and uh, working properly and we can start moving all my stuff on the boat so unfortunately in one way we're at the end of that walkway the car's parked over there and Janet's car's over there so we'll have to bring my stuff over on a trolley a bit at a time and load up it's a nice position though because it's pretty close to the uh, the diesel point and uh, also it's very close to the exit or entrance to the canal which is the Middlewich branch of the Shropshire Union Canal so it's a good spot and I'm very happy about that 
This is the entrance to Aqueduct Marina, so the lorry will come around the corner. And then carry on down, straight down, and stop before you can see those vehicles parked in the distance. And that's where the boat will be taken off, I think. Look what I can spot just behind those trees. It looks very much to me like a boat on the back of a lorry. I wonder. I wonder whether that could be Gladys. I think we're about to find out. Wow, look at that. And there she is. There she is at last. That's a scary looking contraption, isn't it? This is uh, Dave, the lorry driver, is uh, removing the straps. And on the back of the boat, that's Dave from Main Tree Boats. He's the yard foreman at Daintree Boats. So he's just come along in the van before the boat arrived. We just have to stand back and uh, allow these guys to get on with their job now. What's going to happen now is that the tractor with its trailer is going to pull, I think, in front of the boat 
and then reverse back so that they can lower the boat onto the trailer. It's such a skilled job. Um, but I think these guys are so used to it I think there's at least two boats being put in the water today and some days there's a lot more than that it's a bit scary for me but it's just another day to them it's just another job Here we go. Safely loaded on the trailer. Now they're going to undo the straps, and the next step would be to uh, reverse the trailer into the water. So it's the moment of truth. They're. Uh, Reversing backwards now down the slipway. So the marina staff take, con take control of all of this. You can see Dave from Aintree uh, walking along, talking to uh, one of the staff. I still love this red. I'm so glad I chose it. Such a gorgeous colour. Here we go.
isn't that a picture? That looks absolutely gorgeous. And I feel quite overcome, actually. Absolutely gorgeous. That's lovely. So I got an end mooring as well. Very good. So Janet's just gone in the boat for the first time. And what do you think of it, Janet? Stunning. Very nice. Stunning is the word, I think. So uh, oh, it's got a thermostat. we are going to. Uh, and it's 18 degrees in here. Wow, cool. I think the heating is on at the moment. It's got underfloor heating. So she says, yes, I'm not convinced about that. It's, it's definitely got heating. I'll have to ask Dave when he comes back in a minute. It's so hot, it's so hot here. Also, if you've got a hose pipe, take the fitting off the end, just put the hose pipe in because yeah. you want the same volume of air coming out as what you do as water going in if you know what sure. I mean so you don't want to compromise your tank you shouldn't compromise your tank anyway but mm. because of the size of it but you mm. just don't want to do in the future it has happened before in the past but that was on a wide beam and he, he blew his tank up believe it or not so because he had the better All water right. pressure going into it okay um so that side down there you've got your horn yeah. underneath but there yeah see it headlight yeah. Then you've got your connection there, that's just where your cable comes out for your headlight. Yeah. So Connor's putting a nice snazzy box for you. Then there is your TV aerial connection. Alright, underneath is it? Yeah, so you'll just pull it, pull it, it should pop out. Yeah. Get your finger underneath, it'll pop out. Then you'll connect your outside aerial to it. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Okay. If you want to stay there one second, I'll just lift this one. Water pump an isolation valve three speakers fitted throughout so you've got one in your bedroom one in your lounge and one in your galley area yeah okay you got your drawer space here so three deep drawers yeah. and then you've got storage space behind the other side yeah, yeah it's got your little from about here That's you've got all that storage space so how do you access that you have to move you that. lift your mattress up and then these there's there's fixed slats here yeah. but then these two boards lift out okay so it's case you just probably just lift your mattress down or okay if you feel strong enough lift it up yep snazzy black yeah. one instead though all oh, right so this is is this always on provided it's switched on on the power yeah yeah if you're going away from your boat if say if you're going away for like a day or two yeah you leave your fridge on yeah if you're not if you're going away for like a week or two turn your fridge off because your fridge is one of the main power drainers sure. on your boat yeah. so because because you've got the little motor in the back it's constantly working to keep the temperature right inside if you're going away for half a day yeah please turn your water pump off at the control panel right just in case any happens touch wood not happens yet in all the boats that i've been doing but it's just in case at least if you're here yeah. and you have a problem with your tank I, you can I action it straight it, away yeah. If you're not here, there's nothing worse coming back to a nasty surprise. So always please turn your water pump off at the main control, even for half a day. Okay, okay. that's clear. Please. That's now, in your owner, so 25 hour, you will need to get your first service. They'll do that here for me? Yeah, they'll do it here. Yeah. Then 50 hour, Yeah. then 150 hour. Right. Then every 250 hours after that, right. or a year, whatever comes first, you can maintain a boat yourself. Okay. Or if you've done a course and you've registered with Beta, you can do your own uh, maintenance from the very start. Yeah. A little sensor. Now to turn it on, just press the button, lights up red, yeah. and it'll go through a system. Starting. 
mm. and then it'll go to preheat and then it'll go to heating sometimes it's really quiet you can hear the pump yeah clicking there we are the quieter the pump the better it means you're drawing diesel through Brilliant. then you've got your air filter yeah um okay that's it my friends that's it. That's our hand over done. Yeah. Say that again. Hello. Yeah. Hand over complete. Easy peasy. Thank you very much. No problem. I'll My pleasure. I shall remember all of that, every word. Uh, yeah, that's why you're recording this, so we can go back to it. Too, too right, yeah. <laughs> nah. Cheers, Dave, thanks. No problem, any time. Always a pleasure. So we leave our second lock. On this the maiden voyage, that's uh, Chomsden Lock, or Chomsden Lock, I'm not sure how you say it. It turned out to be a lovely afternoon. It was very misty and drizzling this morning before we left Aqueduct. Out on my uh, on my own for the first time on uh, Gladys, and um, I'm not going very far today. Just down to uh, a winding hole, I think. Turn around, come back, maybe more up somewhere for my lunch, and then back to the marina.